Hello. Hello. This is uh, my second and my opinions videos. And let me stress again, even my opinions, um, not not anyone else's. First one I've done was very general. This one or next, I'm going to do a few of them. Are going to be on on specific items. Uh, this one today is about drugs. Um, in fact, some some drugs are legal, and others are illegal. And it's just a case. I mean, I see now. Alcohol, and nicotine, hundred percent legal because it can be taxed. You know. Pharmaceuticals, all them things are, are legal to be dished out because they're taxable. Cannabis is only made illegal in the last 50 years, uh, and I honestly think it's more down to politics and uh, uh, the petroleum corporations, and it's not just to do with the uh, any mind altering effects off the drug, it, it's more to do with. Um, what it can be used for, um, oil, materials, um, now they can make uh, all sorts of synthetic materials um, from the plant and, and all parts of the plant. <coughs> but anyway, yeah, uh, alcohol is legal. Now to me that's the first thing that should be made out, out of. You know, like alcohol, I mean, the family's been destroyed, the people's lives have been destroyed through alcohol. Um, my father was an alcoholic and uh, it didn't didn't make for a very conducive growing up, so it didn't. Uh, that sort of was a bit of a fuck up growing up. And uh, I sort of headed that way um, on my taller days. Uh, live fast, die young, you know. I had to drink pretty hard every time I got ashore. A lot of times I was just thankful to be alive when I got back. Uh, I had no excuse to fire a drink down my neck. Uh, tobacco. Now, tobacco is, to me, is the biggest joke. There, there, there are mountain campaigns, you know, don't smoke. You know, this government campaigns, don't smoke, don't smoke. Yeah, well, they're probably taking about £4 in every five spent on cigarettes on taxes. Now if if they didn't didn't have that taxes, you know, that, that's a phenomenal amount coming in, um near as much as a rip off on you fuel. Eight pound in every ten goes to tax in this country on fuel. Uh, but no drink alcohol well, no. I, I that to, to me that something as dangerous as that is legal and it is dangerous you know you get a slab of drink in you and put ten people together guarantee you'll have a fight you know um six ten ten stoners in a room <laughs> things will get pretty groovy you know and uh, all you want to do is talk and you shoot the shit but Anyway, drink tobacco, pharmaceuticals, pharmaceutical companies. You know the drugs I'm on. You know for pain, um, uh, other things. You know which sort of kick in with when you have long-term pain as problems. You know psychosis and different mental health problems. You know, and you and you're handed out drugs left, right, and center. You know here, take this, take that. You know. Oh well, the, these other ones are putting you a bit of a downer. Take these ones to give you a lifter if you, you know. I'm I'm pretty tired of it. So I'm, I'm tired of uh, all the drugs and, and, and living with the side effects. You know, some of the side effects of the drugs are worse than I was going to say the cure. Well, it's not a cure because pharmaceutical companies don't want to sell you a cure you know they want to sell maintenance drugs um, as in that 
you keep taking them. You know, long term, you keep taking them, and it's beneficial for them financially, so it is. Whereas if uh, they came up with a cure, you know, they'd make no money. It does not make financial sense for the pharmaceutical companies to make cures, so they don't. You know, and if they do, they're not gonna, not gonna let you know. Uh, right. Cannabis. No, uh, this is the one thing that uh, a big kick up in all all sort of modern societies. For it's a plant. You know, it's like a lot of pharmaceuticals were were derivatives of plants, and uh, it's there's no no after effects. There's no there's no downside to it. You know, there's no um, side effects as such apart from uh, uh, temporary euphoria. I went over to Amsterdam. And uh, I must have tried maybe 20, 25 varieties of cannabis, and that's what I was there doing was seeing um, which variety suited my physical problems, you know. And, and I was able to uh, break it down into two varieties that that suited me the best. Now. Not this year, but uh, for the last four years previous, uh, I'd been growing my own, and uh, I'd uh, taught myself a lot about hydroponics, and even to the point where I started developing my own hydroponic systems, and at present I have a range of plus to seven of my own systems, and uh, a friend came over with uh, LED lights one not that long ago, and the uh, 10 watt LED lights were phenomenal in the 50s, would have, you know, give you an awful sunburn. But comparing that to, say, the 600 watt uh, high pressure sodiums that I've been using, the uh, the potential for, for hydroponic systems and uh, Using low wattage light, like if you can light up a big area with 50 watts compared to 1200, 2000, you know, uh, low power energy gathering systems like solar panels and stuff sort of come under their own and uh, indoor growing, doesn't matter what the weather, you can have food growing of any description in any space. No. But as I said, you know, no, I'd I'd been growing for four years and uh never once sold it. Um that, that was my rule, you know, it was for myself and for other people and I for me to give to other people. Um never asked anything in return. And the people that uh I was given to were terminally ill people, people with cancer, um, and, uh, you know, the a friend of mine who, uh, worked with a lot of ill people, I was passing it through him and he was, um, seeing who, who had the most need of it, and there was, uh, one fella that he got, and I think it was, I'm not sure whether it was cerebral palsy that he had. But anyway, he'd been getting off me uh, for about three months. Uh, some of the best stuff I'd grown and sort of mainly targeted uh, at pain relief. And he said that the fellow that had been getting it, I turned around and said, um, the last two and a half months has been some of the best times I've had in the last couple of years because I didn't have to ask anyone to wipe my own arse for me. <laughs> to say 
to that fella that it's illegal. You know what I mean? To turn around and, and tell someone in that position that they can't have it. It's not right. You know. They can dish out all sorts of pills and potions and but to turn around and tell them it's illegal to give them something that allows them the dignity to wipe his own arse. Say that's wrong. No. No. Uh, I think it's more politics than anything else. You know, I, I don't think it's it's been hyped up so much. You know, if if now someone was to come and say I've been able to make this concoction, concoction, it's a liquid, you drink it, it's called alcohol, and you will either stay around the place, you will fight with your wife and beat your kids, um, you will jump in the car and drive down the street and think you're a superman and smash it into somebody else. Would that be allowed in today's society now, if, if you came with that approach? Would that be allowed? You know, so I think no. To me, and and to turn around and say that uh, somebody in need, some someone you know, like in Canada, I think you're allowed um, so many plants for your own personal use. Um, there's a lot of states in America where it's uh, either legal or medically legal. You know. Again, these these are my opinions, you know, and uh, I think it's a very fucked up world we live in, you know. I'm not saying, you know, legalize it for everyone or, or legalize it everywhere. It's control, you know control over people that use it uh, responsibly. <laughs> I can see the alcohol adverts coming up on television. Drink responsibly. Who wants to get four or five pints down their neck or, or five or six shots of their favorite whiskey or vodka is going to start drinking responsibly? You know. I mean, you get through two splits and you start going, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's the first thing he says, whoa, no more. You know. How many people get a lot of drinking? I'm say, no more. Anyway, this has been my opinion on drugs. And uh, leave your comments and thoughts. Let me know what you think. If I'm right, if I'm wrong. You know. Anyway, for now, peace, love, cheers.